Consumer drones were once seen as a toy, something you got your kids for Christmas. They would probably be really excited and fly it around for a bit and quickly get bored of it because there's only so much fun you can have with a quadcopter that's hard to maneuver and it's not very useful either. Enter the DJI Mini SE, an entry level drone that punches well above its weight class with advanced features and a price that doesn't break the bank. This is William from Wink Tech and this is my review of the DJI Mini SE drone. I have been wanting a drone for a while and I was never quite sure which one I should get because they were either too expensive or too lacking in features. That is until the Mini SE caught my attention with a sale price of 350 Canadian dollars on Amazon. Normally the Mini SE is 369 Canadian dollars or 279 US dollars for the drone by itself. To begin with the specs, the Mini SE is packing quite a bit for the money. It has a 12 megapixel sensor on a gimbal that is capable of taking 2.7K video at 30 frames per second. It has 4 kilometers of range, can take off from 4,000 meters, has 30 minutes of flight time, and of course, the star feature, weighs only 249 grams. This is important because it is 1 gram below the limit for the drone to require a license in most countries. This was a key feature for me because I didn't want to go through the hassle of getting a license and registration for a drone I just wanted to use for fun. It being 249 grams means that the drone is very portable and can fit in a large pocket. It's easy to take anywhere along with the remote which folds up nicely to fit in a bag. The drone is made of a light plastic material with most of the weight being allocated to the battery which is removable in the case you have an extra battery to swap out and get more flight time. It comes with some extra propellers in case you damage some of them, which will likely happen eventually. It has a gimbal protector to protect the camera when the drone is not in use. And the arms of the drone fold into the sides, which also contributes to its portability. The controller included with the Mini SE is very nice in my opinion. It has two antennas that fold out to communicate with the drone and an RC cable that connects to your phone. It comes with different types of RC cables depending on your phone, such as Lightning, Micro USB, and USB Type-C. There are spots for two thumbsticks that can be quickly screwed on and off. The bottom folds out so you can plug in your phone and have the sides grip to the phone. And your phone is used as the viewfinder for the drone camera and has information about your drone such as altitude, recording modes, takeoff and landing, and more. Operating the drone is incredibly simple, and this is one of the things that DJI does best in my opinion. You simply turn on the drone and the controller which connect to each other and open the DJI Fly app. Once your drone is detected and you have done any updates, your drone is ready to fly. You hold the takeoff button and your drone will automatically take off about a meter from the ground. From there, you can control the drone using the thumbsticks and thanks to the wind resistance, when you're not controlling the drone it will stay in the same spot and you'll see from the test footage it is super smooth with that gimbal to help stabilize footage. The gimbal is really what separates the cheap drones from the good ones because you can get some really professional looking footage. Speaking of the camera, for 2.7K it still looks really sharp and the colors are decent. With some editing you can make it look quite cinematic. There is even a pro mode to get more muted colors so you can have some more freedom in editing later. 30fps also looks pretty smooth because of the gimbal and the fact that since the drone is so high off the ground, objects don't move very fast unless you fly your drone close to the ground. One of my favorite camera features is the Quick Shots feature. Quick Shots are pre-made movements that the drone can perform automatically while tracking a subject. The modes included are Drony, Circle, Helix, and Rocket. Here's some sample footage of the Quick Shots. I'm honestly quite impressed with how good these look. It's very easy to get smooth cinematic looking shots with this drone. Pictures look really good on the Mini SE as well. They aren't going to blow you away by any means, but it's really all about the angles you can get. Some of the downsides with the camera is it is limited to 30fps so you can't get super smooth shots, but it doesn't bother me since I mostly record in 30fps anyway. There's also no HDR so either the sky is going to look really bright or the ground is going to look too dark. Low light performance is also not the best. Overall though, I can't complain about the camera and it's really good for the price. In the end, would I say the DJI Mini SE is worth it? To me, there is no doubt about it. The Mini SE is the best drone you can buy in this price range. With no license required, an excellent camera with a gimbal, a solid controller, and being easy to fly, 
The Mini SE checks all the boxes to be a good drone. The Mini SE is perfect if you want to make some cool videos, whether it's for fun or for stuff like vlogs on a YouTube channel. However, if you want something better in the long term for professional video, I'd recommend going up to the Mini 2 which has a 4K camera and better range. Or even the Mini 3 Pro if you want the best video possible in a micro drone. Of course, if you decide to buy any drone, make sure you are following your local rules and regulations and check for restricted flying zones before flying. I've included the Canada and US drone tools in the description. Well, I think that's it for this review. Let me know in the comments below what drone you have or which one are you thinking of buying and what would you want to use it for? If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more content like this. Anyway, this has been William from Wink Tech and I'll see you in the next video. One, zero, 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 zero.